Good morning, my friends. Pastor Clark here. I want to thank you so much for being with me here on the Clark and Keith Show. Next 30 minutes is going to be exciting. We're going to talk a little bit about what I've been talking about this past weekend. It has to do about living a debt-free life. I don't want you to eliminate yourself from the list of those that will be debt-free. I mean, think about this. All your bills paid off. Mortgage paid off. Credit card de debts paid off. We're going to walk you through that. We're also going to talk uh, about a couple of testimonies of individuals that have already begun to be debt-free. I'm going to talk about how they did it, and I want to walk you through it, because you can get set free from your debt. So don't listen to what other people say. Crank up the volume and watch this broadcast. It's a, a life enhancement. Amen? So sit back, relax, crank up the volume, and let's get the Clock or T Show on the road. Hey, my friends, thank you so much for being with me on the broadcast. You know, I was talking uh, this past week about living debt free. What does it take to be debt free? Now, there's a number on the bottom of the screen, and I'll encourage you to pick up the phone and call that number right now. Let us pray for you. Let us believe God on your behalf. Let us watch how you can walk through a debt free life. Yeah, that's right. You can live debt free. And you may be saying, well, you're debt free because you have all this money. That's a preconceived idea. No, you don't need a lot of money to be debt free. Some people look at their debts and they're scared of it. But you have to have a good relationship with your money. You should think about that. That's what we're going to talk about today. So I, don't, I want you to get a piece of paper and a pen together. So I'm going to show you how you can get yourself completely out of debt. And especially if you have bad debt, the worst debt the easier it is to get out of debt. And that's sad to say, the worse debt you're going through, it's easier for you to get out of debt. Let me explain this to you. So in today, the, the presidency, um, Biden, uh, had, uh, had given um, uh, a process on how to receive your college payments, what you owe at college, how to pay it off or, or receive a $10,000 benefit to be able to pay off or pay down your, your college bill, what you owe to school. But here's what a lot of people are finding out. If you were faithful at making your payments, that $10,000 is not available to you. But if you struggled making your payments, that $10,000 is available to you. I want you to think about that just for a moment because I, I'm, I'm gonna put a light on a situation that many people do not know truly exists. In this country, we desire to help those who are in need. So people become immigrants because they're in need. I'm from Puerto Rico. Now, the year that I was born, 1965, if you were born, in Puerto Rico, you're an American citizen. But before uh, 1965 or before, I think it was 1954, uh, Puerto Ricans were not known as American citizens, but they can actually take their birth, come to the United States and become an American citizen. And so it, it, the reason why they did that is because the island of Puerto Rico was going through financial crisis. It was a financial turmoil. You had a lot of issues with hurricanes, as we just saw recently, that went through the island and would hurt the people. But the American people, the government, also noticed that Puerto Rico was a great port to be able to go in and out of Latin America. It was a good midway port. And the island of Puerto Rico is about 1,500 miles from Florida, 1,500 miles due east of Florida. So it was a good port for uh, mariners and ships to be able to, to dock there for security and they would stay there in the island. So it behooved them to help the people of the island of Puerto Rico, to help the citizens and to help the nation to utilize Puerto Rico and accept Puerto Rico as a territory, meaning 
every person born in Puerto Rico can become an American citizen. Well, that was created because there was a need on the island. So there was a need with our educational bill. Those that went to school and, and received some type of loan or some type of uh, item that they had to pay back, if they could not pay it back, $10,000, up to $10,000, they can actually get a fund from the government to pay $10,000 towards your bill. But for those who have been making the payment faithfully are finding it a struggle to be able to pay uh, or receive that $10,000 benefit from the government. So if we recognize that and use this as a process, that that's the way America works. America works under the process of helping those that are less fortunate or those that are in a struggle or in a bind. So here's what this means. If you have bad debt, that means you have debt that you're having a hard time making a payment and you're late all the time and you have, you have incurred a, a, a higher interest or penalties. Let me tell you something. I want to talk to you first. Those of you with the manageable debt, we're going to talk about in a minute. Right now, those of you that have bad debt, you've been chasing or running away from those creditors who are calling you. You hit ignore, you put them on block, uh, you don't want to accept them. The mail comes in, you rip it, you throw it away. Look, I know what it's like. I know what you're going through because I've been there. That's right. I've been in that position. When you're in the ministry, Sometimes it's real difficult to be able to pay your bills because you're a ward of donations. And, and even though uh, ridiculous people think that all oh, preachers get all this money, it's, it's completely false. We give more than we ever receive. I mean, I've, <laughs> I've been in and lived in poverty, but God took care of everything. And we had to learn. And that's why I'm giving you this information. Uh, one of the benefits that I had is I had to learn how to be able to manage debt and I was able to help others out with their debt, whatever their situation was. I was able to walk them through a forgiveness of debt. So the first person I want to talk to are you that are having bad debt. Here's what I'm going to ask you to do. You're going to get a piece of paper and you're going to write down number one, identify who you owe and how much do you owe? I know that's a number that you don't even want to look at. You want to ignore it, but don't do it. Because, based on what I had just said, that this system of government and what we have here is we have a process of people that will help you when you're in trouble. So the bigger problems that you have, the worst thing to do is to ignore them. Right now, take a look at them because I'm going to show you how you're going to get debt forgiveness off of that situation that you're in. You're gonna be forgiven of that debt. Whatever that number is that you haven't paid, you've been behind, you haven't been able to make those monthly payments or they've taken you to collections, you got a collection agent that's calling you. I'm gonna show you how to get out of that debt. That's the first one I'm gonna help you with. And we're gonna walk through that, that situation. Okay, so don't change this channel. We're gonna take a break right now. When we come back, I'm gonna to talk to you about how to get out of that bad debt. Thank you so much for staying with me. Now we're gonna talk about how to wipe out bad debt, but I wanna share with you a story uh, of a gentleman by the name of Eric. That's what we're gonna call him is Eric. Uh, Eric is a gentleman in West Texas. He's a personal friend of mine that I've known for a myriad of years. And I've watched him go through life and uh, issues and situations and marriages and divorce and uh, issues with the children and no job and a job, making a lot of money, making no money, acting, all that stuff. And I asked him if I could share this story and he said, I can. So through his challenges of life, as we all have gone through, there comes a time that you have a hard time making payments. And so what happens, you end up with a bad debt and the creditors and the creditors start calling and the credit card companies call and they, and they want you to pay. But look, you can't get blood out of a turnip, no matter how hard you try. If, if there's no money in the bank, how are you gonna make that payment? So you hit ignore, 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 because I gotta survive. That's what goes on inside people's minds like that. I gotta survive. So I told Eric, I said, Eric, let me tell you what I did. You need to call those creditors. First, number one, I asked you to do this. Write down on a piece of paper, who is it that you owe? How much is it that you owe? Those are the two things you need to know right now. Who is it that you owe? And how much is it that you owe? You call that person up. 
Look, they're not going to send you to jail. It doesn't happen. They're not going to send someone knocking on your door. They're not allowed to. These are all wonderful laws that the that the United States of America has has instituted that you can't get arrested for your debt, you can't be put in jail for your debt, and they can't come knocking on your door and harassing you for your debt. Matter of fact, they can't even keep calling you because of your debt. You can actually sue them, and they have to pay you $750 to $1,500 if they keep calling you, and you can use that to pay off your debt, but that's for another show, all right? But here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna take those two items, who you owe, how much do you owe, and make sure that you look at it, all right? So I said, Eric, look at that. Then I want you to contact those people when you have money. When you have money, I mean, you have $500, $1,000, well, you have a little bit of money. When you have money, you're gonna contact those people. And here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna make them an offer. So if that number, let's say it's, $2,000, let's just say credit card, $2,000 bad debt, gone to collection or still with the credit card company. You're gonna call them up and you're gonna offer them, hey, I gotta get this off, I need help. I need help. Those three words are powerful words. Say, I need help. When you hit them with those three words, something turns on inside them and they begin to help. That's right. They say, well, what can you do? And then you tell them, look, I gotta get this off of my back. Can you help me? I need help. So then they're gonna hit you with a number. They're gonna say, you know what we'll do? If you can pay, and they're gonna give you a big number, right? If you can pay this much, I, I, and it's usually about a third off. But here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna actually go about a third of the price. So if it's $2,000, you're gonna go $500 and you're gonna begin negotiating. Now comes the game, all right? You're talking to a person that's getting paid probably uh, 10, $12, $15 an hour. This is not the person you owe money to. That person you're talking to is not the person you owe money to. And guess what? Chances are that person is going through some problems too. He's having a hard time, especially in this environment of being able to make that payment. So you're gonna say, I need help. That person is gonna help you. And, and you're gonna say, I have $500 to pay. But you have to have that money ready to pay. That's why I said, identify what you owe, who you know, right? Who they are and how much do you owe. When you have some money, then you're gonna give them a call and you're gonna negotiate that payment. And so sell a car, sell some furniture, sell something that you have that's old. We'll talk about how to do that on another show, on another episode. But you're gonna take the money that you have. If you have a $2,000 debt, you're gonna tell them, look, I can pay you $500. I can do that right now, but I need this off. I need this off. And they're gonna come back with a different number. Now at that time, you begin to play the game and you find out what you have and what you can pay, okay? Now, in a very rare but possible stance, they might take your $500, all right? And then if they take your $500 or whatever amount that you balance at, you're gonna make that payment right away without delay, <clears throat> okay? You're gonna make that payment right away. And you're gonna ask them that they give you a letter saying that you have satisfied your debt with them. Now, tell them that the letter has to say, satisfied your debt in full. And they're gonna give you that letter. You're gonna say, but what about all that money I owe? They're gonna forgive you of that. They're gonna forgive you of that. And you say, oh, I, I don't know if that works. It works. Eric did it, he said, Pastor Clark, this thing works. And then he went to the next one, went to the next one. And then he began to realize that there's a whole system to this because there's several things that happened. A couple of places that he called, you know what they told him? He said, no, you don't have a debt with us. We had, to, we had to write it off. If they wrote the debt off, they're not allowed to take your money by law. Then you tell them, can you give me a letter saying that that debt is finalized, that you owe them no money? You need to ask for that letter. And I'll tell you what you're gonna do with that letter. You're gonna take that letter and you're gonna submit it to the address that's on your credit report. And I'll talk to you on another episode on how to pull your credit report, but you're gonna take that letter. You gotta have it, put that letter in a file, put it in your safe, and you're gonna send that over to your credit, to, to, the, to the credit bureau, and they're gonna wipe that debt off your credit report. Now, when you start taking this exercise, here's what's gonna happen. 
your credit numbers probably sitting at 490, 520, 530, 550, you're gonna start seeing them inch up to 600 and you're gonna see it continue to grow. And when you get to that point, here's what's gonna happen. Credit card companies are gonna call you up to try to get you back into debt, but don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. All right, I'm gonna tell you what to do next. We're gonna take another break. All right, so sit back, relax. You're watching The Clark Ortiz Show. We'll be right back. Thank you so much for staying with me. Okay, now we're talking about you getting out of debt. And if you missed the other two uh, sections, segments of this broadcast, of this episode, remember to visit me at ClarkRortiz.com and you'll be able to watch this full episode without the commercials. You'll see the full episode on the website at ClarkRortiz.com, okay? So when you go to ClarkRortiz.com, give me your address, put it in there. It's a little ad form, very simple. And just put your address, your email address on there. You're going to subscribe to my newsletter and I'm going to send you information that's going to help you out, okay? All right, now, we're talking about how to get out of debt. So you wrote down on a piece of paper uh, who you owe, how much you owe. Number two, you began to call them and you asked them to start negotiating them, they, negotiating that debt. They're going to start sending you letters. You have to ask for those letters. You take those letters and you pull and you submit it to the credit bureau. Now you say to yourself, "How do I know who and what my credit is?" Very simple. Go to your bank app. Whatever bank that you bank with has an app. Now, the banks are offering a full credit report and it's for free. Or you can go on freecreditreport.com. They're not a sponsor of the program. But if you go to freecreditreport.com, everybody can get a credit report made out to them. And that credit report is for you. Or you can contact the credit bureaus directly. You can go to um, Equifax and, and Asperium and you can go straight to them directly and ask them for your credit report they must give it to you for free, for free. There's no charge. If someone's charging you for a credit report, hang up the phone. Don't even talk to them if they're asking you or wanting to charge you to pull your credit. You don't want to have anything like that, okay? When you get your credit report, on the credit report, there's a name, an address, and a phone number of all those different people that you owe money to, okay? When you get the letter, you're gonna submit that letter to them and they're gonna take you off of the reporting and put it to zero. And there's nothing more sexy than to see your credit report with a bunch of zeros on it. I love it like that. Where you don't have any debt and all your debts are paid off. Look, this exercise takes about 30 to 40 days. It doesn't happen right away. But you know what? You didn't get into debt right away. It took you time to get into debt. So it's worth 30, 40, maybe even 60 days to get out of debt. But if you follow my process and you follow what I say, you're going to get ahead. Now, for more information, visit me at clarkortiz.com. Remember my email address at clarkortiz at gmail.com. You can email me at any time. Uh, or you go to clarkortiz.com and you put, my, you put your email on the line that's on there. And I'm going to send you free newsletters that will go right into your mailbox. And you'll be able to be blessed. I don't bombard you. I send about, eh, about 10, 12 emails a month. That's all. And uh, there may be sometimes more, sometimes less, sometimes three or four emails. But every email is going to be beneficial for you, okay? So go to ClarkRortiz.com, put your email in there, and you'll be able to know more. Those of you that are watching this on social media, hit subscribe, whichever platform you're watching. Hit subscribe, hit thumbs up, and put a comment on the line. I love using social media because it allows me to, to, to have this dialogue together with you in one location. I'll answer all your questions. Look. There's not anybody I won't talk to. I'll answer your questions. I'll give you my phone number. I'll let you give me a call. We'll get a chance to talk together. There's a lot that we can do together, okay? Why? Because I want to see you get ahead. That's right. Okay, listen, we're going to take another short break. Don't change this channel. I'm Clark Ortiz, and you're watching The Clark Ortiz Show. Well, our time has run so short. Listen, I want to see you at church this Sunday at 11 o'clock. Will you come? Sunday at 11 o'clock. Just come to the 11 o'clock service. 90 minutes of your life a week will change and enhance your whole life. I promise you, you'll have a great time. Your kids will be smarter. Your husband and your wife will behave. <laughs> your dog will behave themselves. You watch, when you interject God in your life, everything gets better. It's a proven fact. Okay, so come on over to Senate Church, 4801 North Cage Boulevard, west of 281 North of Nolana, here in the city of Far. You can't miss us. We're right off the highway, and we want to be able to love on you. We want to get to know you. 
We have a beautiful children's church. We have wonderful classrooms set up for you that you can have a good time. And our teachers desire to teach you greatly. They'll have a, you'll have a good time. I promise you, your kids, when church is over, are going to say, Mommy, Daddy, bring me back to church. They will. And if you have a problem, you know what they're going to say? Mommy, Daddy, can I pray for you? Your kids are going to do it. Why? Because our focus is from cradle to career. We want to teach your children the way they should go. The Bible says when they're old, they won't depart from it. All right? Hey, listen, thank you so much for being with me. Remember, contact me anywhere that you see my social media. You can communicate with me or call me directly. My cell phone is public and online. All right? I'm Pastor Clark. I'll go take on the day. Remember, Jesus loves you and so do I. By the way, that's sign language for I love you. It's not a devil horn. I love you. <laughs> I love the valley. I love how God has uh, awakened so much down in the valley. Uh, I can remember back years ago where there had to be an awakening, and now I'm watching that awakening come. I want to encourage all of you watching this. I would not miss Vision for the Harvest. You want to be there if anywhere that any way you can be there, from uh, especially in that region down there. Uh, I'll be with Mel Tari. Mel Tari is a dear friend of mine, and uh, he was known for the mighty wind, uh, the revival anointing that came across Indonesia and the book that he wrote. And this is just going to be a new wind of revival that opens our eyes to the vision for harvest. Get ready. We'll see you there. Take my hand, no hesitating oh.